hello everybody. Oh, I just got home from the casino. Mom kept me out all night since like 11 o'clock at night. Now it's like 6 something in the morning. She loves being there so long. But it's fun watching my mom win. Because the machine I wanted to play. Oh my goodness. Mom sits there for a cup like two spins. You know what? You want to know what? Hmm? You want to know what? She got the minor and the major. So she hit a jackpot. They had to go hand pay her. The machine I wanted to use. Go figure. But she promised me a laptop. So I'm going to finally have a laptop. So yay. Later on today, I'm probably, if it don't snow, sometime today I'm going to go get a laptop. And a few other little things. But she promised me that. So that's good, finally. I finally probably get to get in a laptop, everybody. What I've been wanting. Yay. I'm happy, I'm happy about that. Because I've been wanting to get a laptop. And I miss using a computer. Oh, I just took a shower. But... Yeah, my mom was having good, her good luck streak going on. I won a couple dollars. A couple dollars. I didn't go home broke, so that's good. I won a couple dollars, like maybe $60. My mom won the jackpot and here and there. and uh, A good, you know how much you won? $2,000. The machine I wanted to play. Yeah. That happened before, a couple times. But that's good for my mom, right? So my mom hit jackpot. I get the machine I wanted, but oh well. That's that's a good thing. Yeah, and the only thing, the other thing is, I was trying to talk to my sister. My sister's being very negative, worse than I, I am. She's really negative. I'm trying to change it. She's, oh my goodness. It's really bad. My sister's real bad. She needs she needs somebody really to help her. She's really going through a rough patch right now. It's like she's so sick a different way where she thinks that nobody can help her and I don't know what to do. She thinks like she's like she she had those weight loss surgery and stuff two times and it really messed her up. So she's like so sick a different way and they want to reverse it or something and she has ulcers and she's too and she and her fiance went and is in Montreal prison and she's just so messed up right now. She's too she's like lost right now and she thinks she might end up in the mental hospital and I'm trying to show her positive and trying to be there for her but she don't and then she would be negative my mom and like yelling to tell mom my mom that's like being nasty to mom and I had to tell her that's not right you shouldn't talk to mom that way you know she was being real bad to mom and I told her you should be happy that she lets you live there oh you know it's not a good place to live but she should you know, appreciate what she has, though. You know what I mean? She's complaining that she wants a bus ticket to see her fiancé. And she want, needs to get a phone. But she's being so negative. She needs to find things to make it positive. She's so... It's like... I don't know. She's just too... She don't think... It's so bad. She's younger than me. And it's like she don't... I'm trying to get her to think better than what she is. That I'm there for her, but she don't want me to be there for her. It's bad. I don't want to do. She won't listen to me because she thinks that everybody's this, everybody's that. And, and the surgery, her body, she's scared that her body's, you know, falling apart. And I don't know what to do to help her. She's scared about all the surgery. She's scared she's dying. I don't know what to do to help her. I really don't know. 
I don't know what to do to help her. I really don't know. It's like, I tried, I was like trying to talk, like when my mom went into the little store, she had to go stop. I was talking to her, trying to, but she wouldn't listen because she's, other people are being so nice, like bad to her, like his, her fiance's family is being terrible to her. So she's getting all this negative and bad stuff happening and she's not like listening to the good stuff like me telling her that I'm there for you no matter what, that I love you and you know what I mean? She's not listening to that. She's listening to all the bad people telling her stuff. So I'm trying to be there for her but she don't want me there for her so I don't know what to do to help her. I don't know how to help her really don't I don't want to see her like the way she is this hurts me bad because she is very skinny you know but she's making herself think that she's dying gonna die you know what I mean like I don't I can't it's like I don't know what to do to help her I'm sorry my my routine a little bit changed Cause I'm kind of tired of that all night with my mom. <laughs> but I just worry about my sister a little bit. Because the way she was like treating my mom. And you know. I have to go through my purse to see how much money I have in my bag too. The change. Got lots of change. I got change. I don't need to carry all the change that I grabbed. But I don't know what to do. I love her, but she just pushing me away too. She's been pushing my mom away. She's treating my mom real bad. So I don't know. She didn't want me to put her on camera, so I couldn't. I couldn't get her on camera. And too bad the casino had music, or I would have. I would have taped a few things, but they had music blasting, so I didn't want to put it get a strike or anything so I hope you all know that my lips look so messed up I don't know what happened to them I drank some soda from there and then all of a sudden my lips I don't know if I'm allergic or is it cold from the outside chapped I don't know if this is allergic to something see my lips are like this after I was drinking some stuff I had out of their machine I didn't try any new lipstick or anything. All I did was have a banana and drank some of the stuff out of their machine. And put my lip gloss that I usually wear. And it's very cold outside, so I don't know what this is. My lips, it looks bad. It kind of burns. I don't know. All I know is that I come home looking like this. But, yeah, so that's that's what I'm dealing with my sister. So now when I'm around my sister, she's going to be so negative. Real bad negative. Not like me negative. She's really bad. She needs help bad. She needs she needs a lot of help. I I'm trying to be there for her, but she don't want me there. It's sad. It made me cry a little bit because I can't help her. She's she needs she really needs you know, it hurts. Because she's the way she's acting like she she thinks she's dying and this and that and she, it hurts. She's not listening to people, she just keep being you know, she's letting her sickness or whatever she has keep you know take over her she's not letting you know what I mean she's not giving she's not like fighting or whatever and she's just letting you know acting like oh I'm gonna die oh it hurts oh you know what I mean being so po uh, negative towards it that oh there's a there's a way to get better oh that I can feel better you know she's just not it's hard it's I can't. And then she complains about her fiance being in jail and is not seeing him. I'm like, don't even go there. I don't get to see my kids. 
So don't even say about missing people. I miss my kids. So you, I know how you feel. You know, how do you, you know, how many years I haven't, you know, so don't, don't even go there. You know, I've been, I'm going through something like you're going through, but worse, you know. That's what she's like, we're trying to make it all poor me, poor me. You know, that it's all, you know, you don't know how it feels. Yes, I do know how it feels. You know what I mean? You know? And then all of a sudden she's like afraid of this other town. Because I was like, look, my mom, we go out this way. Can we go to stop to the, the one town? And she's like... There are those bad people in that town. I don't know why. I don't know why she says that. Maybe some... I don't... But... I'm going to try to relax for a bit. I had a good day when I went into Walmart, though. I'm going to mention this again. I had a fan come up to me. Well, that asked me, Are you my... Are you on YouTube? My family member watches you all the time on YouTube. Can I get a picture? I was, I forgot what the name, what their name. I, we used to be your neighbor too. I was like, that was the first time I had somebody notice me in public and in the store. That was so cool. It felt weird at first because I wasn't expecting that right yet though. But that's so cool that people are starting to notice me. You know what I mean? It makes me feel good because People used to push me away, you know what I mean? I'm getting noticed. I love it now. That's cool. That's awesome that I got recognized. That is awesome. Thank you for wanting my picture. Thank you for recognizing me. Thank you for coming up to me and making me feel important. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for just, you know, wanting, you know, that was so cool. Sorry I forgot your name or anything. I'm sorry about that. But you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, I'm tired. I can't wait to get my computer. I have to get a mouse too. Can't wait. Then I go live. What can we do on live? Do, do, do. What are we going to do on live? Maybe we could do live cooking. I don't know. We'll sit here just chit chat about stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting a laptop, so I don't know. Bye.